time, story time. Come on and join me for story time, 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 time. Have you ever lived on a farm? Or have you ever visited a farm? Well, on the farm, there live all sorts of animals of different sizes, shapes, and colors. Why don't I get you to shout out the name of your favorite farm animal? What's your favorite animal? A horse? Wow, that's a big animal. What does horses sound like? Nah, nah, nah. That's a sick horse. But, and what's your favorite animal? A cow? <laughs> well, what do cows sound like? Moo, moo, moo. Very good, very good. Now, what is your favorite animal? A pig? <laughs> well, what does a pig sound like? Oink, oink, oink. So, what's your favorite animal? Is it a chicken or a hen? Well, for the purpose of this story, I need your hen to be a little red hen. One bright and sunny day, little red hen was strolling through the barnyard. Now, do you know what a barnyard is? It's a large yard that surrounds a barn, which is an apartment building where lots of different animals live. The chickens, they lay eggs and live on the first floor of the apartment building so that they can lie their eggs and they don't fall out of the nest. And little boys and girls can go through their nest every day and get the eggs and take them to the grocery store to sell them for some money. Then mamas and daddies can go to the store and buy the eggs and bring them home so that we can eat them for breakfast. Now, the pigs always live outdoors because they like to lie around all day in the mud puddles hollering now, what do pigs say? Oink, oink, oink. There was a quackety old duck that waddled around the barnyard all day long, flopping up and down on a little lake out back. Now, what do ducks sound like? Quack, 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 quack. There was also a little kitty cat who rarely ever came out to the barnyard because he prided himself on being the family's pet. But occasionally, he would come into the barnyard and he would go. Now, what a cat sound like? Meow, meow, meow. Now that you've met some of the farm animals, let's get back to my story. One day, there was a little red hen. She was walking through the barnyard, pecking in the ground for seeds and looking for worms. Do you like to eat worms? <laughs> well, it's a good thing that you're not a hen, because if you were a hen, you would walk around the barnyard all day long going cluck, 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 and digging for worms. This particular day, the little red hen found a packet of seeds. She exclaimed, Oh my, look what I found, a packet of seeds. Who will help me plant the seeds, she clucked, cluck, cluck, cluck. Mr. Pig squealed, oink, oink, oink. Now I have to interpret all of the animal languages for you because I know you don't know what oink, oink means. Well, today for the sake of our story, it means, not I, squealed the pig. I have to waddle in my puddle. Mrs. Duck replied, Quack, quack, quack! Which means, Not I, quack the duck, as she waddled in the pond. The cat was taking a sun bath in a chair by the barn, and he lazily yarned, Meow, meow, meow. 
Now let me interpret that for you. It means by now you have probably become a linguist. Someone who interprets different languages. So what does Mr. Pig mean when he says, oink, oink, oink? Oh, you're so right. He means, not I. So the little red hen decides that she would dig a hole, plant the seeds in a neat little row. Every day when the little red hen would water and care for the seeds, she worked in the hot sun, pulled up all the weeds. As time went by and the seeds grew into plants and the plants grew taller and taller and one day the plants were ready to harvest. The little red hen was so proud of her garden and she finally said, Who will help me pick the wheat? Mr. Pig squealed. Oink, oink, oink. Now I need you to help me interpret what does oink, oink, oink mean? Ah, oh, you so right, it means not I, said the pig. Miss Duck quacked. Quack, quack, quack! Means not I, said the duck. Mr. Cat yawned. Meow, meow, meow. Which means, you got it, not I, said the cat. Then I will cluck, cluck, cluck the little red hen. The little red hen worked all morning long in the hot, hot sun gathering in the wheat. After a brief rest under a tall shade tree, she clucked. Cluck, cluck, cluck. Who will help me make, take the wheat to the mill so that I can have it sifted into flour so that I can bake it into bread? Meow, 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 yawned the cat. Quack, 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 quacked the duck. Oink, 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 squealed the pig. Now what does the cat meow mean? Not I. What did the duck's quack mean? Quack. Not I. What did the pig's oink mean? Not I. So the little red hen put on her bonnet and put her wheat in a little cart and scooted it down the road to the mill. The man at the mill took the wheat from the little red hen, ground it into flour. The little red hen paid the miller, took her wheat and headed back down the road towards home. Once the little red hen returned home, she decided that she would sit in her rocking chair and rest for a while. Then she clucked. Cluck, cluck, cluck. Who will help me bake some wheat? Meow, 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 yawned the lazy cat. But you know what that means. Not I. Ha, ha, ha. Oink, 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 squealed the pig. You know what that means. Not I. Ha, ha, not I. Quack, 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 quack the duck, which means, not I, ha, <laughs> ha, I will, cluck the little red hen. So she put on her apron, took out her pots and pans, baked up some delicious pans of bread. This time when the little red hen put the tasty pans of bread on the table for dinner, the aroma from the bread smells so good that she could smell it throughout the barnyard. The little red hen clucked, cluck, cluck, cluck. Who will help me eat this delicious bread? And the pig came squealing, oink, oink, oink. And the duck came quacking, quack, quack. And the cat came yawning, meow, meow, meow. But suddenly, the meaning of their words changed. This time, the oink, 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 and the quack, 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 and the meow, meow, meow meant, we will. And so the little red hen sat down at the table and clucked, cluck, cluck, cluck. <laughs> No, you will not, but I will. And she sat down at her little table 
in her little kitchen on her little stool and ate every last crumb of the wonderful, savory crumbs of bread all by herself. The moral to this story is that if you want to enjoy the tasty morsels of bread, you have to do some of the work before it's time to eat. Thank you. Thank you.